How's it going? Very good, man. How about yourself? Oh, you know, another day in paradise. Another day in paradise. That's what I'm saying. Well, it's paradise. You feeling it? I'm, I'm going to feel it when we open this bottle up. Are they feeling it? Are you feeling it? Feeling paradise? This is my friend, Keith. And this is my friend, Brian. And we are Denver Wine, Wine Guys. Guys. So, Let's, let's we changed that a little bit. We're not saying .com anymore, so it's... Well, like, actually, I, I, I thought about that. We need, we need to tell our, our viewers, you know, hey, we're the Denver Wine Guys. We are. But you can find us at www. which I guess you don't need to do anymore. Because they're watching the video and it's going to be up there anyway. So I know. So, so we're so just going to say Denver Wine Guys. All right. That's where no we're going to We're done. <laughs> actually, we're just getting started. And Today, pretty soon we're going to have really big news for you, too. What news is that? That we're going to have. That we're starting another show. Oh, we'll keep it a secret, but... Oh, Just a little tease. Oh, 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 that is a tease. That is. We're going to leave you hanging. But so, Denver Wine Guys, Brian, Keith, and nice to have you here. And today we're talking Cabernet from Napa Valley. <laughs> du Vignet. That's right. La Familia. So, the two vines from two families? Two families. Two yeah. vines, two families. And Ken Musso, who's the winemaker, and his wife, Anne. Is Ken going to be on with us? Right on the phone. It, right now. He's gonna, on the phone right I'm now? I'm going to call him. Okay, well, while you're calling Ken, I'm going to open up this bottle. Are you? Because I'm getting thirsty. I love Cabernet. You know, I do too. Cabernet is a, is a complex wine. It is, you know? but it's, when you speak of wine, Cabernet is like the wine of all wines. It's the, to me, it's the master of wines, right? It goes well with food. They, they're, they're different. They, they vary a lot. But, you know, it all goes back to Cabernet, I think. You know, you think of Bordeaux. And oh, well, I was just going to say, Bordeaux is a blend, but you don't... Right. When you say master wine, do you not think of Bordeaux or Burgundy? That's, that's what you think of, Bordeaux. I do. But Bordeaux is a blend. Well, yeah, but still you associate Bordeaux with Cabernet. True. You know? So it's... um. But all those Pinophiles that are out there... Can I say Pinophile? Go ahead, say it. <laughs> all those, all those Pinot lovers out there, those Burgundy lovers, Pinot you know, they, they, they may not agree with that. They may think that Pinot Noir is. Well, if you don't agree with it, it email us. Info at denverwineguys.com. That's the place to go. So I'm going to call Ken up because right. he's waiting in his truck. I think like out in, out in the vineyard. Is Actually. he? Last time we talked to Ken, he was, he was on his tractor. So is he? He was. Is he on his tractor now, or I don't think so. We don't know where what he's doing. Where we're is gonna, he? He's probably waiting for my call. I'll probably be like, okay, is this guy gonna call me or what? Mm -hmm. So what is this? Two thousand what? What's it called? What's the, the um, vintage again? Two thousand and five. Okay. From Napa Valley. Duvignier. Duvignier. La Familia. Um, you're not tasting it yet, are you? No, I'm smelling it. I mean, come on. You got a glass of wine in front of me. You're, you're telling me I'm gonna wait on somebody? Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> At least let me put my nose to it. You know how sometimes this last time, the first time I did this, it was really easy. But now, for some reason, it's becoming difficult for me to, um, I can't, I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? We don't edit here at Denver Wine Guys. Well, actually, we got a, we got a new producer, a new cameraman. So this might actually be cut there out of go. the film. <laughs> and that's true. It could be, but I doubt it. <laughs> How's it smell? I love it. Oh, oh. Classic Cabernet. What is you're classic Cabernet? Cassis. You're getting that, that big Cassis characteristic. And you know, and, and a lot Ken. of people, they may say, oh, you know, I hear you wine guys talk about Cassis so all the time. Good. Let me what put you down on the is, table here. Hold Cassis. on one sec. Cassis is those, those tiny little grapes that can, actually, you can find them in, in specialty food stores. Um, can you find Cassis in a grocer, King Supers? Uh, can you hear us? Hey, Ken. This is yeah. Brian. Better say hi again. I don't hear you. Hey, can, can you hear me? Yeah, can, hey, can you hang up for just, I got to take one call here real quick. Is that okay? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, even though we're, we're filming live, we're, we've, no, just, good. we've just been put on hold. The Denver Wine guys <laughs> have just been put on hold. <laughs> no music, either. <really. laughs> <laughs> So, uh, let's back to the classic Cabernet. Yeah, um, dark black fruits, blackberry. Yeah. Um, you can find cherry characteristics, but typically all your dark black fruits are in Yeah, there. plums, right? I mean, I usually, I, I always get of, plum out of it. I get plum more out of Merlot than I do, do Cabernet. You? But, you know, each yeah. wine is, is different, so you can find different things. I tell it's going to be nice and rich. It's like, I, now see, I'm going to say, you're, Brian's going to... 
Okay, you're here. Hey, there you go. Ken. Um, hey, Ken, thanks for coming on again. And um, My pleasure. So our viewers know Ken is the winemaker at Duvignier and La Familia, uh, two wines, two families. And we're talking about the, today, Ken, we're talking about the 2005 Cabernet. Okay. What do you, th what's your thought on that wine real quick? Um, you know, I, I, I wondered about it at first. When we first bottled that wine, I thought, man, this thing is tighter than the spring. And, you know, I, I just don't know when it's going to come around, when it's time will happen. And, uh, but boy, it, uh, I, I think it really has come around. I think it has lots of blueberry on the nose. It has some currant and uh, some cassis. And uh, actually, for a harvest, that was not the easiest, especially following 2004, and, and then also having to live up to the issue of a, of a large crop. I think the one uh, turned out pretty nice. Because you're de you definitely seem to focus more on Italian varietals, so, you know, throwing a Cabernet in there, I guess, but if you have a vineyard in Napa Valley, kind of hard not to do that, right? It's, it's, that's exactly right, yeah. You know, I, I'm a believer in uh, you grow the grapes where the grape is going to perform best. And, uh, you know, I think the Italian varietals do real well in the foothills. I think the Rhone varietals do real well in the foothills. And, um, you know, how can you argue with Nava Valley Cabernet? Without a doubt, you know, for our viewers that uh, that are just learning about wine, you know, Napa Valley, you, you can't think of the valley without thinking of Cabernet Sauvignon. But Ken here is is great in when it comes to making classic varietals from from Italy. But Ken, uh, again, w w I have to applaud you and that your Cabernet um, is not a letdown at all. I mean, it, it's. It's as good as um, you know anything that we've tasted from you uh, in the past. And as Keith was saying, you know, I, I would almost expect this to be your flagship because it's it's Napa Valley Cab. But um, you know, k kudos to you. This it's fantastic. Uh, oh, great! I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's uh, uh, you know we're we're just getting down to oh my gosh, it's uh, it, it's done well in, in the markets, and I think we have only about 25 cases left. Wow. But, uh, that, that, that didn't you, surprise me. You know, as a winemaker, you, you say, okay, I better start tasting the 06. And you go, oh, man, this thing's tired in the spring again. <laughs> but, uh...